Snowflake, Joe, is, is the better bet. It's at about a $50 billion market cap and growing like crazy. Snowflake up 16% right now after a beat on revenue. Snowflake and NVIDIA are teaming up with each other. Chipmaker bringing its AI platform to Snowflake's. Hello, everyone. I've got some exciting breaking news straight from the database world. According to the latest rankings from dbengines.com, Snowflake has officially entered the prestigious list of the top 10 popular databases in December 2023. Since this stellar IPO in 2020, Snowflake has been one of the hottest tech stocks. This ranking is yet another milestone for Snowflake. For those who do not know what it is, Snowflake is a fully managed data platform that provides a single platform for data warehousing, data engineering, data science, and data application development. It is an end-to-end -end solution to ingest your data, analyze it, and generate reports and insights. Come with me as we dive into what led to this accomplishment and explore why it matters in the data landscape. Hey data explorers, my name is Madhar. In this video, we will dive into the history of data warehousing and then unveil the factors that catapulted Snowflake into the spotlight. Before understanding Snowflake's powers, you must understand the history of data warehousing. Picture this, the 1980s, a time of neon lights, bold fashion choices, and the adoption of something revolutionary, the relational database. Companies worldwide embraced this technology to record their business data, but soon they faced a challenge, a growing appetite for reporting and analytics that overwhelmed their transactional databases. The relational database was good, but the demands were evolving. And so, the Data Warehouse was born, an innovative solution to offload reporting and analytics tasks to a separate, optimized system. But what set it apart from the traditional transactional databases? Let's look at the comparison. The key was a shift from online transaction processing, supported by relational databases, to a focus on historical data analysis using online analytical processing supported by data warehouses. OLTP databases are designed for rapid storage and retrieval of small data sets for transactions. On the other hand, data warehouses are optimized for querying historical data and executing complex analysis. As we entered the 90s, the data landscape was evolving rapidly. The amount of data and complexity of workloads were growing steadily, pushing traditional data warehouses to their limits. Enter the era of parallel processing. Traditional architectures couldn't keep up, leading to the emergence of massive parallel processing systems. But of course, with progress came challenges. Parallelism was a critical tool addressing scale effectively. However, the complexity of managing these systems increased. It was clear the journey was far from over. With the dawn of the 21st century, a seismic shift occurred caused by the plummeting cost of creating and storing data, giving rise to new applications and generating an explosion of data like never before. At this time, organizations faced several challenges in data warehousing. Traditional data warehouses often required extensive manual tuning, maintenance, and complex management, leading to high operational overheads. The data warehouses faced performance bottlenecks, mainly when dealing with complex queries and large data sets. Scaling these data warehouses to handle growing data volumes and user demands took a lot of work and effort. Many traditional data warehousing solutions tied organizations to a specific vendor, limiting flexibility and making migration challenging. The problems for the analytical world were mounting. However, we were still missing one key part of the puzzle that would not only solve the problems of the analytical world, but was set to transform the technology landscape forever. And that tech element was cloud computing. In the 2010s, the stage was set for a fresh approach to data warehousing, which could truly leverage the power of the cloud. In 2012, a revolutionary platform called Snowflake was built that was designed to overcome all these challenges. To reduce complexity and overhead, Snowflake introduced a cloud-native architecture that automated many aspects of data warehousing, significantly reducing the complexity and management overhead. Its serverless approach to computing eliminated the need for manual scaling or tuning. To remove performance bottlenecks, Snowflake leveraged a virtualized and optimized storage layer, 
enhancing performance and enabling users to analyze large data sets quickly and efficiently. To improve scalability, Snowflake introduced seamless and automatic scalability. With its separation of storage and compute, users could now scale both independently, ensuring optimal performance without extensive planning or manual intervention. To improve flexibility, Snowflake was built with multi-cloud support in mind. Organizations can run Snowflake on multiple cloud platforms, promoting flexibility and reducing concerns about vendor lock-in. Users can choose the cloud provider that best suits their need or use multiple providers simultaneously. But then you might think, so what? Most of the cloud providers do offer these capabilities? But back in 2012, this was not the case. And Snowflake sees the first mover's advantage through its foresight. Apart from this, one superpower that impressed me the most was its data sharing capabilities. Snowflake has a marketplace where you can buy not only applications, but also data. If you are interested in a particular data set, you can sample it, purchase it, and start using it within seconds, as if it was part of your own data warehouse. The best part is that no ETL is required to bring the data in and no storage capacity is needed to store it. If you have data you want to monetize, you can put it on Marketplace and set up a revenue stream for yourself. Isn't that amazing? These are the reasons why many companies are adopting Snowflake, a data as a service platform to outsource their data management tasks and focus on utilizing their data more effectively. The founders of this company shared a common passion for skiing. The name Snowflake is a tribute to their passion. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Until next time, stay curious, stay data driven.